Okay, so me and Ange thought we'd talk about summation formulas today. So here's this idea of summation formulas. that We just worked on sigma notation, and that's where we gathered this idea together that we're going to summate these, these bits and pieces that we have. What it's going to go to is area. So there are these four major summation formulas, and you ha if you have them memorized, everything else becomes really, really easy. So in the moment, if you're going, what the, am I going to need this for? Just hang in there for a second and just kind of write these down, and let's see if we can get this put together. I'm going to do a couple examples today. So the first summation formula says that the summation of C, which is some constant value, from I equals 1 to N, is just C, that constant number, times N. The second one says that if we have the summation of I from I equals 1 to N, well, that can be rewritten as a summation formula as N times the quantity N plus 1 over 2. I get it. It's kind of making me real, too. But I'm hoping you're going to write these down, and we're going to work through a bunch of these together. And at the end, you're going to say, wow, okay, I have this. So the third one is this. If we have the summation of I squared from I equals 1 to N, it's the same as saying N times the quantity N plus 1 times the quantity 2N plus 1 all over 6. I hear you. The fourth one says this, that if we're going to summate I cubed, and I didn't even write it because I just didn't want to, I was afraid I might have to talk about it, but here it is, I cubed. So if we summate I cubed, that is, can I do this? That is the equivalent of, that is, that is equal to n squared times the quantity n plus 1, that quantity squared over 2, all right? I know, how could that be all right? It sounds terrible, but let's try one of these. Let's try to evaluate this. So let's evaluate this sum. Let's evaluate the sum of i plus 1 all over n squared. And let's do that for, I don't know, n equals 10, e, n equals 100, n equals 1,000, n equals 10,000. Now, if we tried to do this by hand, we know what we'd be doing. We'd be doing in this case, we'd be doing 1 plus 1, I'm sorry, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to 10. And if we did n is 10,000, we'd be doing n is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way out till we got to 9,999 plus 10,000. So I think we'd be a little bit busy. Okay, so let's try to break this out. Let's try to evaluate this a little bit. So this is what I like to do. I like to try to convert this into a summation formula. So the first thing I see is this. I'm looking at this. I see this n squared here, and I'm like, you know what? This n squared is the same as 1 over n squared, isn't it? So if you don't mind, I'm going to pull out our 1 over n squared and then rewrite our summation. So we're going to take the summation of now i plus 1 from i equals 1 to n. From here, we can break this out into other summation formulas. Right? We're going to break this out some more. We're going to say this. We're going to keep our n plus 1 here. I'm just, I'm sorry, n over 1 over n squared. Sorry. And then we're going to break up this summation right here into these two pieces. So the summation of i as i equals 1 to n plus the summation whoops, of 1, i equals 1 to n. Now, go back up to the formulas that are up here, and this is where I am. I'm going back up here, and the first thing I found is I have i. So I'm going to trade out my val this whole thing right here for this summation formula. Right? So just to show you in orange, I'm going to pull out this piece right here, and I'm going to rewrite that down there. Then I also have this value of C, right? Because I have 1, so that's a C value. So I'm going to do 1 times N. And let's see how that works out down here. So if we break this out, we can rewrite this whole thing. I'm going to be careful not to lose this 1 over N squared. But I'm going to use the summation formula for, for I the summation formula for i is n times the quantity n plus 1 all over 2, right? So that's this, isn't it? And then I'm going to find this summation of a constant. That constant is 1. It says in its c times n, our constant is 1. So 1 times n equals, well, n. So plus n, all right? Now, if you don't mind, I like to add these two things together. So if you don't mind, I'm going to multiply this n here by 2 over 2. That works, doesn't it? So it's 2 over 2 is just 1, and 1 times n is just n, right? So see if you can see where I'm picking all this stuff up from. This, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in here and here. And I'm going to get n squared plus n. That's this bit right here, isn't it? This plus sign is this one. 
plus 2n, we have, we have fractions that have common denominators. We don't add denominators. We just carry them over, don't we? So we have this now. Let's take a look and see what we have here. So from here, as stupid as it sounds, I know we distributed in. Now I want to factor out because we have n squared here, n here. Look, we have actually 3n because n plus 2n is 3n, right? So we have a common factor. Look, and this is why I'm looking at this. We have a common factor of n here and n here. And look, I'm thinking maybe we get lucky and get rid of one of those. So I'm going to factor this out and get 1 over n squared times n times n plus 3 all over 2. See what just happened? So we have this n to the first here, n squared here. And n, if I multiply this over, I'd have n over n squared, which would just be 1 over n, wouldn't it? Okay, I think we're doing okay here. And now I'm just going to keep doing my algebra now. I'm just going to move this across and say that 2 times n is 2n, isn't it? Is 2n. And 1 times n plus 3 is n plus 3. So here's the general form that we have. So now what we can do is we can just evaluate at each value. And what we find out later is that the bigger that number n gets, the closer to 1 half we get. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's a pain, but um, we'll try a bunch more problems like this and see if we can't get to the bottom of it, okay? If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And your comments are always welcome. And, of course, I'll return as many of the comments as I can. Thanks.